everyone. Um, my name is Maureen Balakrishnan. Um, I am a former PLEP. I actually was in Catherine's class. And um, this, this is my slide. Before I talk about the slide, I wanted to talk about how I came into J&J &J, um, because I guess I was kind of brought in kind of in a non-traditional way. Um, I went to the University of Wisconsin-Madison and got my um, MBA in supply chain there, but there wasn't a lot of recruiting um, for, for companies like J&J. &J. So I actually um, was connected um, with Norman's predecessor, Jerry Ockers, um, at um, a diversity conference called the Consortium, which is um, a, it's a group of schools that have a career, um, career conference. And I was connected with J&J &J there, um, as well as National Black, MBA, National Hispanic, MBA. And I, you know, connected with J&J &J at all those conferences. And then I actually um, visited J&J um, &J, um, just when I was um, in the area to um, just even learn more about the organization. And I think um, that really helped um, taking initiative and connecting um, to really to get in the door. And I think, you know, J&J &J may not come to your school. And I think, you know, you can reach out in every different way that you can, um, talking, talking with current employees like us. Um, to really um, get a sense that J&J &J is the right um, fit for you. So I did not intern um, at J&J. &J. I started through the full-time program, and um, I work in the direct procurement space. When we say direct procurement, we're talking about um, sourcing, sourcing material or products that direct, um, directly um, affect the end product. So we have indirect and direct and indirect is more related to services, which um, some of the other um, people will talk a little bit about. So I, when I started, I started in the medical devices space. And one of the things Norman mentioned is that we grow by acquisition. And one of the companies we had just acquired, I started in July 2016, and in May 2016, we acquired um, a medical stapling company called Biomedical Enterprises. They put um, medical staples, if you have um, foot and ankle surgeries, they're very small, um, stainless steel implants. And they, we brought them in, they were a startup company, we brought them in to expand our presence in the trauma market. And I, day one of my, you know, um, of, of my role within j and I got to be part of the um, BME integration team. And I got to go down to their facility in San Antonio and work with a lot of the biomedical engineers on how do we get this company, this small 60-person company made primarily up of engineers into the large, massive organization of Johnson & Johnson and learning about all of their plastic molding operations and their metal and their stainless steel and their different requirements uh, was just fascinating to me, knowing nothing really um, about the industry and just getting involved and kind of hitting the ground running. Um, and actually, um, my second day um, at j and I was already visiting um, one of our different sites um, in Pennsylvania to learn more about how we can optimize our, our supply chain. Um, so it's, you, really, you really get to hit the ground running, like right when you start, and it's really exciting. Um, I was just kind of blown away by all the different opportunities um, that I was able to do um, through um, my different roles here. Um, outside of um, integrating BME um, into j and J, I also have spent um, a lot of my time working um, at a, an organization in Johnson & Johnson called the Pew Synthes. So that is global orthopedics. So we make knees, we make hips, we make spinal implants. Um, but we, when you think about a knee surgery, you need different um, what we call instruments as part of the surgery. So I. Um, work with suppliers to source those instruments. So I've gotten to visit a lot of um, our instrument suppliers um, that, that provide, us, provide us instruments for those surgeries and get to work a lot with our cross-functional teams um, in planning, engineering, quality, regulatory, our project teams um, in terms of like how do we optimize our market. And it's really relevant when you look in the news and you see oh, there's a tax on stainless steel imports. Like, how does that affect us? You know, we have to do all of these, you know, different analysis to see, oh, how does that change what we're doing in the market? How does it change what um, suppliers we're going to? Um, 
one of our um, one of the projects I'm working on right now, we're getting um, a supplier that's that's in Malaysia um, doing different um, different um, instruments for um, a hip surgery. And how do we, you know, deal with, you know, a tax and imports, or how do we, you know, deal with maybe some of the compliance issues that we have, you know, that may be, you know, going on with our government and healthcare. So constant, you know, healthcare is changing. It's a very interesting space to be in. You really have to be um, nimble with what's going on. So that's been um, a really exciting um, part for me. 